Have you ever wished you could have superpowers? Not in the way Superman and Wonder Woman have their own powers, but more likely how Shadowcat and the Nightcrawler and Rogue came to be. Welcome to The Bestest, the channel that provides you the bestest news and videos you should know about. In today's episode, we'll discuss the proof that mutants exist that you should know about. Before we start, please make sure to like and subscribe to our channel and hit the bell to get notifications of our videos. We all know that the bestest can serve you a platter filled with everything you have yet to find out. Most of us have seen the whole X-Men franchise blow up to become one of the most highly acclaimed superhero films. Even if not everyone agrees so, most of us grew up with Professor X and the different mutants he arbors in his mansion. But what if we tell you there might be mutants who walk among us? That surely catches your attention. However, these people are not really off saving the world from Magneto. Some choose to live a pretty mundane life. In this episode, the bestest will show you proof that mutants exist, and you should know who these are. At number one, we have Liam Hoekstra. He comes from Michigan. Liam has myosin-related muscle hypertrophy. This condition comes from a mutation in the gene that instructs the body to produce myostatin, which limits muscle growth. With abnormally low levels of protein, the body produces muscle unchecked. Liam isn't only ripped and buff, but he's shockingly strong as well. And when we say strong, we mean Superman strength. You should know that babies with this condition have well-developed musculature at birth. That makes those babies far stronger than their peers as they get older. Geneticists in Boston have also studied a German boy with this condition. And there may be others. Now that's interesting. What do you think about that? Some are probably out there working out day in and day out, and some are just like Liam. But this is just the beginning. Stay until the end of this episode to know what these are. Let's move on to what's next on our list. At number 2, we have Aero Mantaranta. The Finnish skier was suspected of blood doping because his red blood cell count was 20% higher than that of other athletes. However, scientists have discovered that a mutated gene in Aero's family gave them high sensitivity to the hormone erythropoietin. In normal bodies, erythropoietin steps up red blood cell production during exertion. It brings in more oxygen to keep the muscles going. However, it's different for the Mantiranta family. This process in Arrow's body was accelerated to the point where his body has overproduced hemoglobin. With deeply reddened skin and a higher than normal blood oxygen capacity, Mantiranta won three Olympic gold medals, seven Olympic medals in total in the 1960s. At number three, we have Dean Karnazes. He is named as one of the fittest men on the planet. People have referred to him as the real-life version of The Flash, but with better stamina. I am an ultra-marathon runner, so I run distances beyond a marathon. Some of the races I do are 50 miles long, 100 miles long, even 200 miles long. Dean is an endurance athlete. The man who doesn't stop running submitted himself to some of the most physically and mentally grueling athletic tests imaginable. His most notable accomplishment is conquering a 350-mile run without stopping. He didn't even stop to sleep. Dean sprinted through the 100-degree heat of Death Valley towards a marathon to the negative 40-degree South Pole. The athlete continues his search for new ways to challenge his mind and body. He even completed 50 marathons over the course of 50 consecutive days. That's not just speed. After all, it's Dean Karnazes. At number four, we have Abby Ross. A lot of people have said that sleep is for the weak, and only Abby Ross can say that that's true. This short sleeper can live and function on six hours or less of sleep every night. Researchers have explained that this is due to the mutation of DEC2, the circadian rhythm regulator gene. This mutation has been dubbed as the Thatcher gene. 
It was named after former British Prime Minister Margaret Thatcher. She was the Prime Minister who ran the United Kingdom on four hours of sleep every night. And some of you would say that it's all thanks to at least four or more cups of coffee, but sadly no. Hey, does anybody want coffee? Who wants coffee? I just made a fresh pot of coffee. Does anybody want coffee? This mutation does not only let you function with less sleep, but will also give you immunity against the effects of sleep deprivation. Workaholics would definitely love this mutation. Simple human beings with just a few tweaks into their own system. Alright, since we're already halfway through this episode, what kind of genetic mutation would you want to have? Make sure to stay with us until the end of this episode to know what are the other proofs of mutant existence the bestest will be serving. Up next is also something very interesting. At number 5, we have Daniel Browning Smith. He is popularly known as the Rubber Boy. Daniel can pass his body through a tennis racket. Aside from doing so, he can also turn his torso 180 degrees. He has what you call the Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome. It is an inherited condition that alters the structure of collagen in their bodies. This gives great elasticity in their connective tissues in their skin, joints, and muscles. How flexible do you aim to be? We guess yoga is not a challenge for Daniel. He accidentally discovered this ability at the age of four. It was when he jumped off a bunk bed and then landed into a split. He currently holds the Guinness World Record for Most Flexible Man. At number 6, we have Elaine Robert. This 54-year-old man is known as the French Spider-Man. Unlike Peter Parker, Elaine wasn't bitten by a radioactive spider. Instead, he chooses to showcase his adventures in urban climbing without any safety gear. People experience chills just by watching his feats. He hoists himself hundreds of feet into the sky, scaling multi-story buildings in broad daylight. Elaine has climbed the Eiffel Tower, the Empire State Building, the Canada Square Tower, the Petronas Towers in Malaysia, and the Four Seasons Hotel in Hong Kong. Although urban climbing is not technically illegal, Robert has been arrested over a hundred times for trespassing and causing public disturbances. Most recently, this Spider-Man was arrested after successfully climbing the Heron Tower in London. Peter Parker can keep his web. Elaine has the power of passion to keep him going. Alright, we are almost at the end of this episode. The last one is bound to both shock and interest you. However, there are still others that we chose not to highlight in this episode, but we're sure you'd find the last one interesting too. Now moving on to the last thing on our episode. At number 7, we have Stephen Crone. We all have heard about AIDS. It is the epidemic that has affected a lot of people all throughout the 1980s, even until now. Although, there was one man who managed to never get sick even as his friends and loves fell to the then mysterious ailment. Stephen was discovered to have Delta 32 mutation. This protected his CD4 white blood cells from HIV. The small genetic change made him completely immune to HIV. But that's not all. This genetic mutation also has no apparent effects. Steven sure proved himself to scientists and researchers who continue to find a way to beat HIV. You may say that this does not seem like a superpower, but this current pandemic we are all facing really needs something like this, right? Humans truly are amazing. They continue to evolve in their own ways, some in secret and some choose to share this kind of power they have. These may as well mark the beginning of mutant existence, and that is what makes these even greater. After all, maybe one of us may have the genetic mutation to read people's minds. However, we do hope that's part of what the future holds. So who among them? interested you the most? Let us know in the comment section below. Make sure to like and subscribe to The Bestest and hit the bell to access more of our videos. Thank you so much for watching and until our next Bestest video.